guys and welcome to Samantha's Kitchen. Today I've got, oh it's such a beautifully classic Korean snack or I generally have it sometimes for breakfast if uh, I want to treat myself and it's called Pabjong. It is a, um, it's a Korean spring onion pancake and it's really simple to make. Um, and you'll you'll love it. You'll just absolutely love it. As you know, I'm a big fan of Korean uh, cuisine, and so at every opportunity, I will try and make it. So this is my take on it. Um, it's based similarly on Manchi's recipe. Um, I, um, I take a lot of advice and cooking from Manchi, so definitely visit uh, Manchi's YouTube channel. Um, but for today, you'll need the following. You will need some sesame oil. You will also need some hot pepper flakes. These are amazing. And I don't know if I've shown you, but they have the scoville. I mean, how cool is that? So you know what you're getting. <laughs> so yeah, hot pepper flakes. You'll need three tablespoons of flour. You will also need some um, sesame, uh, sorry, not sesame, soybean paste. Um, I'm using this, you can get it from any um, uh, oriental or uh, supermarket. Um, if you can't or you don't have one uh, um, around you, you can get it online also. So you'll need, we're gonna need a teaspoon of this in our, um, in our batter that we'll make. You will also need some spring onions, and garlic. You will need some water as well, um, but that's all you need. Literally, it's spring onions, garlic, and a few, um, a few spices. And yeah, let, let's go. Let's get cooking. Okay. As with everything, I always forget something. You'll need some sugar as well. Um, you don't need a lot of sugar, but just a tiny bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to add just half a teaspoon of sugar into your batter mix. We are then going to add our soybean paste. You only need a teaspoon. Um, it does add a real good flavour, heat teaspoon like this. And it is really worthwhile grabbing some if you can. Um, you will also need, now if you don't like things spicy, you don't have to put it in, but I love um, hot pepper flakes and I love spicy kick so I'm just going to add some hot pepper flakes in there probably about half a teaspoon and then what we're going to do is we're going to mix this up and we're going to create a batter for the um, the pancake so what we'll do is we'll just add a little bit of water at a time and then just mix like this making sure that we just Get all that mixed in well, the sugar, the soybean paste, um, and I'll come back and I'll show you what kind of consistency you need, but add a little at a time and build up like this. Okay guys, this is the consistency. Um, it is a nice pouring batter. Um, and what I like to do is just to have a little bit, bit of control, I like to put it in the um, the jar that I have my water in. It's just so that when you're pouring it in, you've just got a little bit more control. Um, so I will then just be able to, to pour that in nicely and not throw it everywhere. So we've got our spring onions now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them in about five centimeter lengths. So we're gonna cut them about, about this all the way up um, and what we'll do then is in the pan we'll lay them all across the pan like so. I'm also going to finely chop this as well um, and what I, I like to do is I like to sprinkle this on however you could real finely um, chop this and put it into your batter if you choose um, but I'll get on and chop these.
Okay guys, I've just put this pan on and we're going to add a little bit of sesame oil um, because we're just going to um, cook the pancake. Imagine about one and a half tablespoons into this. And I'm just going to coat the pan like so. I don't know why but this pan doesn't stir straight. Anyway, so as you can see, I've cut now my spring onions and what we're going to do is we're going to line them up like this into a kind of a straight line um, making sure that they're quite even don't matter if they're a little bit more on the pan or not you know you, know, you can have them completely uniform but I'm just going to make them a little bit more spread out just so it adds a bit more coverage to the pan and then we've got here the garlic and I'm just going to sprinkle the garlic just in and around on this sparse, sparsely as they say. Um, okay, we we'll just put the rest of the ingredients in like so and then what we'll do then is we'll just turn this up just so the onions start to um, fry and then it will be a case of adding our butter. Okay, so the spread onions have just started to fry now. Um, they're just all getting infused with sesame oil. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add our batter. And we're just going to put our batter over the spring onions. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're coating all the spring onions because we want to create a pancake. So we need to make sure that those spring onions are not going to move or separate or anything like that. So we'll just make the pancake like that. And you might have a little bit left over. Um, and you could put it in if you want, but um, just, I don't think there's any need as long as your spring onions are all covered like that. And what we're going to do then is we're going to cook, cook it on, like for about five minutes on each side. The key with the pancake is, is you don't move it too soon. That's your main key. So we'll keep cooking this and I will make some dip. So you can have whatever dipping sauce you like. You could even have tomato ketchup if you wanted. Um, but I'm just going to use some light soy, just put in here about two tablespoons of light soy. I'm also then going to use some sriracha. Um, I love sriracha and I just think it complements it really well. We're going to add here about a tablespoon. I'm also going to add some hoisin, uh, just to add that bit of sweetness really, um, that's if I get hoisin out, I'm running low, uh, and I'm going to add about half a tea, uh, sorry, half a tablespoon of hoisin. I think this is completed now, I think it needs to be thrown away, and then we're going to add some sesame. Just a sprinkle of sesame. I'm going to give that a good stir around and that's how quick and easy the dip is. Okay, so a moment of truth. Let's see if this pancake will move. Yes, it can. And as you can see, the batter is almost cooked through on the top side of it. Now, it may break, it may not. I think it might break. Um, we will see. Um, but I plan to try and turn this over. Uh, I think it is going to break though. In fact, I'm going to make the decision to cut it down the middle and turn it over like this. It might be tricky because we've got the spring onions that are all the way through, but don't worry too much. As long as you make that clear line and let us grab this. And let's see if we can turn it over successfully. Yay! 
And as you can see, it's beautiful and crispy looking. Amazing. Okay, we'll do the same with the other side. It doesn't matter if they break. It's still amazing ingredients. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry, okay? What we'll do is we'll cook this for another five minutes on each side and then it will be ready to serve. Okay guys, we've had about five to seven minutes on each side and now it's time to serve. Um, I've got a little uh, nice plate there that has the, um, the dip that I made but also um, a dip that I got from supermarket. Um, it's a, a dip for dumplings but it's so nice with this and there we go. Amazing, eh? So, beautiful spring onion pancake from Korea. Really simple to make. Absolutely delightful. I think it's time to try this. In fact, I've got a little bit still left in the pan. So I'm going to try this here. Ooh, let's try it with the dip that I've got. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Mm. Also, try a bit of kimchi with it. Absolutely beautiful. And if you want to see my uh, recipe for kimchi, then check that out. Um, it's in the uh, Korean playlist. So there you go, Korean spring onion pancake, John. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit that notification button. And stay safe everyone, bye.